I'm going to take you to the innards of this whole system and show you what it looks like underneath. Now, I brought that little podium over here, and the fluval I've got mounted over here. And in the process of doing it and getting it all hooked up, I discover one of the valves was leaking. So, where I called to order, they don't have them, so I have to get back in touch with Fluval itself. And I'm thinking, well, if I can build this entire tank and do this entire wet dry and I can do everything else, why do I have to go through the time and waiting and cost of getting a valve for this? So, as you can see, I happen to have some items laying around, hose, hose clamps, barb fittings, and a one inch ball valve. So that has me up and running and no leaks and everything's working fine. So this has all my chemical and mechanical filtration in here. I cleaned it out. Some of my, uh, my staples, some of my necessities. And here, we're gonna go over and show what's going on in the wet dry. As you can see, the water is coming in here. This is exact simile on both sides. They're exactly the same towers. I've got a pad on top, the blue-white pad. I have, excuse me, biomedia here, ceramic rings. I have, in this tray, I have three long bags, three large bags. In this larger tray, I have one gallon of bio balls. Down the very bottom, I have about 40 of them plastic pot scrubbies on each side. I got oxygen going down underneath it so it's going up so I got air coming down and air going up. I got a bunch of ceramic ring bags in the bottom of this and that's where I keep my heaters. If I can get an angle you can see them over there in the back part of it's the heaters. There's my mag drive 1800 return pump. And like I say here is an identical setup on this side. And I'm going to take you over to this other door. And there is the new Sun Sun 304B. Now this is an interesting little filter. I think it's working great. I'm going to show you what it's doing in just a minute, but right now I'm going to say a brief word about it. It's, uh, it looks extremely small in the cabinet. It's a little bit smaller than the Fluval. Priming was a booger. I was trying to create a way to put the the hose that brings water in, the line, the plastic line with a little basket on the end of it, I was trying to figure out a way to put it into the surface skimmer that I have my interior part of the overflow box off my eShops. And I just, I know there, there had to have been air leaking or something. I could not get a good, good suction. I pumped and pumped and pumped and I read a lot about them and I heard so many people having pumping issues and they could drive you crazy. And I'm thinking, okay, this is pretty much par for the course of everything that I've read, everything that I've heard. So, what I did was I took and I put a rubber line on the end going in the overflow box and took all the little pieces that are put together plastic with seams off and in about three pumps it was working. So, I think it was just a matter of having a little air going in and I couldn't get all the air out and I couldn't get the water to prime in. So, if you're ever hooking this up and you've got a problem with that, make sure that that in intake tube going into the tank doesn't have any air going into it at all. It's all directly water. That might save a lot of headaches. It did me.